I'm not talking right now because I'm just trying to like appreciate the breeze that I'm getting now that I'm moving. It's uh, 35 degrees Celsius here, which is, I guess, 90s in America and Fahrenheit. Okay, so the, yeah, <clears throat> back on topic. Um, <laughs> I'm like beating around the bush here. I don't want to spit it out. Uh, uh, yeah, my plan was just to do it like once a year for my birthday. But by uh, in Taiwanese culture, when someone gets married and it's a friend, you give money. Even if you can't go to the wedding. But actually, I think it, the way it works is if you're invited. If they invite you, and even if you can go or not go, you're supposed to be invited. Yeah, you're supposed to give money. Uh -huh. Hey, I just thought of something. Okay, so I invite everyone. <laughs> All my subscribers. Actually, there's one of my subscribers. Her name's Denise. I think she lives in Taiwan, and she said she wanted to come. So she can come. And I invite everyone else uh, in Taiwan. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I invite everyone else, take that back, who's a subscriber to my wedding. If you can fly out to Taiwan in time, uh, just send me an email, uh, a message and I'll let you know where it is and you can come. But now that you've all been officially invited, <laughs> you see where this is going, don't you? Uh, well, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, again, I'm half kidding. I'm not seriously saying that you all have to. Uh, but yeah, if, if you want to, I'm good. Like, what I did with my birthday video was I just said, if you want to donate, donate. And then I spent seven or eight hours making a special thank you video to the people who donated. And I'm not going to say what was on that video, but it was, it was pretty, pretty special. And uh, so, yeah, so the people that gave money for my birthday, they all got this special video that it took me like eight hours to make. And uh, it's one of my, it's, 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 it's easily in my top three most favorite videos. I, I myself have watched it dozens of times. And I know a lot of my viewers have been watching, watched it a few times as well. So, Considering I only, it's a private video and I only sent it out to about a hundred people and it has like four or five hundred views. I'm guessing it's the same people watching it multiple times. But anyway, so that's what I did. But I didn't tell people that. I didn't say, oh, give me money for my birth, give me money and then I'll give you the link to a video. Because that's, I didn't think that was cool. I thought it was much better just making the video and then people unexpectedly got it as a thank you. And the people thought it was pretty cool too. But I'm going to break that rule as well and tell you, because I'm not, I'm not, if you want to give money for my birthday, um, I'm going to make a wedding video, is what I'm going to make. And I'm, I'll, it won't just be a boring home video, wedding, wedding, home, home, wedding, home video. It won't just be a boring average home video like of a wedding. I'll try to make it uh, special and maybe funny and maybe throw in like interviews with the guests or something. And then it, I, yeah, and there'll be some like really, there's some really cool pictures. Uh, in Taiwan, the, you do your wedding photos before the wedding, so we've already done our wedding photos, and uh, it's like professional in a studio, all that kind of crap, and really well done. So, so yeah, so the, you'll get to see those photos. Um, but I'm not, but at this time I'm not gonna, this is only for the hard cute, hardcore supporters really like if you want to send five bucks or something to my wedding uh that's cool that's fine but i, I wouldn't send you the, the wedding link uh, why why am i being an asshole uh, i'm not being an asshole i just don't what the fuck buddy what are you doing you should stop behind me forget it You know, it's, it's one motorcycle per lane, because motorcycles count as cars, so... So I stopped in the middle of my lane, and he pulls up in the middle and stops in the middle of two lanes, so... There's no reason for that, like... Are you worried that, you know, you get stuck behind me when the light goes green? Look how far behind me they are. Does it give them an advantage to, 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 to squeeze in beside me like that? No, it doesn't. You actually can start quicker from a light by parking further away from the light. Did you know that? It's true. Uh, ideally, if you're on a road and there's no traffic whatsoever on the road, no traffic whatsoever, and then you were stopping at a red light, the best 
place to stop for a red light would be about a half a block before the stop line. Why? Because when the other light goes yellow, you can start to accelerate towards the red light. And just as you reach the red light, it'll turn green and you're already in the speed limit. So the absolute quickest way to get through uh, a light as it's turning green is to stop a half a block, a block before the red light. And the closer you stop to the red light, the slower you'll get through the intersection. So all these idiots that come up to red lights and they keep inching forward and inching forward and inching forward and inching forward because they're, they, they want to get going. Every time they inch forward, they're actually making their start slower. Especially if you live in Taiwan, because in Taiwan you'll always have, when the light first turns green, you can't go right away because you have a car that's like running. You'll always have one or two cars run the red. So if you get like, uh, yeah, so if you're at the light and the light turns green and you got a car running the red, you can't accelerate because there's a car going through. But if you're further back, you can accelerate towards the car and then it gets out of your way and you go through. You follow? The closer you stop, the slower you start. Anyway, so yeah, um, so five bucks, like, if you could, the, why, why, why won't I accept five bucks when I'm, someone's a poor student? Well, yeah. Um, the reason why is because I don't want haters sending in five bucks so they can watch a video of my wedding and then like make fun of it or spam, put it, post it up somewhere or something or you know use it in a negative way. So if you're truly, uh, if you you know if, if, if you're truly a, a, a subscriber or a fan, I'll use that word, I don't like to use that word, I always use the word viewer, not fan. But if you are a, a fan and uh, and this is important, and you can afford it, okay? Because, like, I'm not going to say, oh, you're not a real fan because you didn't send money, or you're not a real... Bullshit, bullshit. Not everyone has money to spare. But if you... So if you, if, you're, if you consider yourself a hardcore fan, and you can afford it easily, then I'd say um, $20 would be the minimum for the... Because for the, realistically, the minimum, the absolute minimum you can give at a wedding in Taiwan the absolute minimum, like any less than that would be like an insult, would be like $36 or something American. But you guys aren't eating my food and you're not actually going to be there. So I'm saying, if you want to give $20 towards the baby and the wedding, and then and then I'll, I'll, I'll spend, you know, a day or two working on a, a thank you video, which will include the wedding and some other special stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, so like I said, I don't want to hear any complaints. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not telling people to do it. I'm not saying you should do it. I'm saying specifically, if you can afford it, and if you consider yourself a hardcore viewer or whatever, then consider it. And if, you know, if it doesn't interest you, then don't worry about it.